a black graphic with moving white numbers and grid lines. Title, Open Science. There are scientists looking through microscopes, working on computers and collaborating in labs. Lisa Federer, PhD, Acting Director, Office of Strategic Planning Initiatives, National Library of Medicine. Open science is an umbrella term for a range of scientific practices that involve making the products and processes of research open. It allows people to have a better view into that scientific process and understand how is this information collected? How did the scientist come to the conclusion that they do in their paper? But it also gives people the opportunity to reuse some of those things. Mariam Zarninglam, PhD, Data Science and Open Science Officer, National Library of Medicine. So this is the first time that we have a consistent definition across all of the US government. It is the principle and practice of making research processes and products available to all while respecting diverse cultures, maintaining security and privacy, and fostering collaborations, reproducibility, and equity. A screen capture of the PubMed Central website and someone scrolling through articles on headaches. NLM plays a big role in open science through making those products of research available. So we have PubMed Central, which is the uh, full text archive of the literature. Screen captures of the PubMed.gov and dbgap websites. Uh, we have uh, many resources that make data available through NCBI. So all of those things are really important, both for helping researchers to find where they can get this information, but also for researchers who are interested in participating in open science and making their work available. These are really important resources as here's a place that I can go to put my data so that other people can have access to it. There's been an understanding or like an expansion of the way that we think about sort of the research products and processes encompassed by open science. So that we should be thinking also about sort of new ways of disseminating information like preprints, or thinking about, you know, the ways in which we engage with different communities and how they're part of open science. A woman reading a book to a child. An oil pump in the middle of a field in small homes in a rural area. It's not just this scientist to scientist communication or scientist to clinician, but it's scientists and researchers engaging with communities and communities finding on ramps to feel a part of the scientific process. A white background with a gray and blue NIHNLM logo, serving scientists and society. 